I never checked my breasts. I never thought I'm gonna get breast cancer. I'm a breast surgeon. And suddenly I was about to have every treatment I gave my patients. Seven years ago, Liz O'Riordan was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. She had to have chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and a mastectomy. As a breast cancer surgeon, she treated hundreds of women, but was now facing a diagnosis herself. So I went to have an ultrasound, and I did ultrasounds myself, so I turned to look at the screen, and I saw a cancer. And whereas most women are drip-fed information, there's a lump, they'll do a biopsy, I knew from that image that it was big, I'd need chemo, I'd need a mastectomy. As a breast surgeon, I had a good idea whether I'd be alive in 10 years or not. It was a lot to deal with. Liz was forced to retire at the age of 43. I lost my job, I couldn't operate, I lost my purpose in life, and I was facing nine months of some pretty gruelling treatment. And I suddenly realised how hard it is to have cancer and how little I knew. Now women like Liz could benefit from a new test that can detect cancer before it starts. The identity of a cell is defined by its epigenome. Which the women's identification test, which is currently in trials, uses a sample from a routine cervical smear to predict the risk of four different cancers. What we have here is a possibility of a test that could tell you someone's risk of developing not just cervical, but also breast, ovarian and wound lining cancer as well. So a single test that could tell you someone's risk of developing four different kinds of cancer at once. And that's really revolutionary. Liz knows just how important the test could be. I think it's fantastic. It's a test women are having normally. You go to have your smear and you could find out you are at high risk, so you could modify your lifestyle or get surgery. It would be a complete game changer. Experts say the new test should be available within five to 10 years, and it's hoped it could save many lives. Leila Hayes, Five News.